What's good with you lot? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lydia and today I'm meeting up with my family. Last time I took a photo in this mirror, I took a photo in this mirror with anorexic, which was... What for camera? Don't let me drown. Being here is so weird. Like, it's what we are being here. This is upstairs, thank you. Just take it to me. That's one nice photo of us. I hate being here. Abdab is like memory heaven and it's horrible. I don't know why, but being back at the school has made me feel horrible. I'm not being back at the school. I'm not being back at the school as well. Down the full camera. Camera. Yeah. I just didn't think it would, like, if you think about it this way, it's been, what, seven years since I went to that school, and the fact that it's still, well, I didn't think about it normally, but I think being here, it's just, like, it's brought back everything, like, the more reality of how horrible kids were, yeah. and like, you know, and just the staff, it's the same staff. Okay. Mm. First thing I noticed when I went in, staff. Same. I, I know, but I remember that. Yeah. I remember them being like, oh, well, deal with it. But they told me to just deal with everything. Oh, for God's sake. They just stay. That's what I hate being like. I was sure that was just going to be home. Yeah. Feels weird being back here. No other way to explain it other than weird. There's no other way to explain it being here. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
doing PE and I mean forced to walk around the playground because I had a genuine note. They didn't believe me. They thought I was just trying to get out of PE. And they made me walk around that. and then literally a year later I was diagnosed with chronic arthritis and it just They thought I was like and I don't know. It brought back a lot of our memories. Uh, yeah. Like this is the school that refused to help the the bullying and everything and it was the first time I stepped foot in there in seven years. So yeah, my anxiety was a lot. I had lorazepam and then I got laughed out by people because of how slowed down I was. So that's fun. <laughs> I got triggered in public. Fucking family edition. Like, oof. to be real, this is the school that left me to fend with for myself with bullying. It took, like, what, five years of my life? And I moved away, and I've never been back again, ever, since all of that. And I don't know. I went into a completely dissociative block for it all, and now my family. Um, it's also been a great day that I've stayed at my nan's because me and my mum don't go on ill. I need to live with her, so I'm staying at my nan's until I move back to London. If I'd have known that coming here would have impacted me this way, I wouldn't have come. It's horrible, the way I live. If I'm doing PE up there. That's where I used to do PA, and that's where I did it all. Like, I got money that I could beat when I got. When I had a note for PA, you had to stand in a group, usually. I was made to stand in a corner on my own and face the corner. And they accused me of lying and got proved that it wasn't me. But it's dehumanising, it's wrong. The way the school treats people is wrong. And being back here is just horrible. It is. They actually have no anti bullying policies, which is what's wrong about school. If they did and they had proper procedures afterwards, then they would end up in a situation where they've got someone pulling knives on them. Go get your desk, or would you rather just. Oh, well, I want to get some more muscle. More muscle, yeah. Are you sure? Because you do it tomorrow. No, I'll get my stuff, but I want to have something to do. Alright, you should do it again for just a second. No, so I wanted to see Bia by the time. Okay. It's so hard to see. 